like think they're girls. You guys were fantastic. I'm telling you, you guys were just fantastic. I'm telling you, we were better yesterday or today. You were even better today. You were better today. And I can hardly believe you could be better today because it was great yesterday. <laughs> I want my camera. I want to take a picture of the kids like this. Say hi. Here, can you video? Just keep videotaping. Thank you. Hi. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, sure.
show background and then the show itself and working with all these incredible parents that have come in and volunteered their time and all these, just such an eclectic group of people, um, all different cultures, um, all different ages, all different uh, walks of life, all different uh, types of jobs, but they've all come together at Franklin and provided the students and myself with this wonderful support. Um, we've had student teachers to teacher teachers to uh, uh, former, uh, sad to say for me, but former students who are now parents who have children in the school <laughs> that I taught. And um, uh, that here working on the set has just been an incredible experience. The other part of it has been uh, to learn about a specific culture. And in this case, it has been about the Middle East, as this play takes place in Persia. And we had this wonderful moment when uh, we were a, we have a family here who's from Iran, and uh, the Nazims, Fatima Nazim and Hassan Nazim, and they have uh, a father, Mr. Nazim's father, who he had not seen for 30 years. And when they, he came here just as we were starting to work on this piece, and, uh, of course, he spoke uh, Persian and gave us all this information, and uh, Hassan uh, Nazim gave us all this information. And then they worked together on these domes and putting up this set. And that was the first time this father and son had been together for 30 years, and it was the most touching, beautiful moment. they could, I would like, I don't know where they are in this audience, I was told, no, 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 don't do it. But if nothing else, I would certainly like them to stand, please, and so we can acknowledge <laughs> Then we had uh, all these artists come and uh, put together, we have, uh, I hate to name all the names that are in the program, but just remarkable talent that came together, people who sewed costumes like Linda Lockmiller, even Mrs. Nazim got, kind of emptied her closets for us. And uh, then we had Louis Sitbon's, uh, Betty uh, Sibon's mother, uh, Betty herself actually is the mother, who's this incredible artist who did these beautiful paintings of these pictures. And then Robert Goldsmith with the Griffins and student teachers in the door and, and little kids who did the tiles, Mrs. Greiner who was kind of organizing it all. And then in the back, we have uh, a Mr. Pelican who came in. He was coming in every day after rehearsals. What can I do? What can I do? So he, he, he put together all these marvelous things. So when you see the scary things, um, that's Mr. Pelican. So I would like Mr. Pelican to please stand and take a bow. Oh, that's <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Just some very special parents who have uh, donated time. And then there are all those parents who let their children stay after school, you know, who let this happen. And then you compound that with the incredible staff here. I had the janitors hanging lights and um, to uh, one of our aides holding the door open so the actors could come through. And then I had Mrs. Wells. This was just, to me, I was just laughing, laughing, laughing. She, uh, we needed somebody to fill in what I call the hole. It's stage right, and we have Sharon Madison over the eighth grade teacher over in the hole today, which is right over there, stage right, and it's a small space, and a lot of people are coming out. So one of our dress rehearsals, Mrs. Wells went back there in her heel, in her nice suit, and she's standing in the dark, and all these kids are running around like maniacs, very quietly though, and getting into place. And I just went, without um, her support, and without her guidance, and without her uh, nurturing at many times, uh, this certainly wouldn't have happened. So if we could give up. Very good. Last but not least, we have over to uh, my right is Brian Santos, and uh, he's a new teacher to this. He's our music teacher, and he, he came in and uh, he came 
came in January and just kind of jumped in and I said, hey, want to do a musical? And he said, yeah. <laughs> so he's been with us only for a semester and doing this wonderful job. So I'm very appreciative of being, having the honor to work with him and uh, he's just a wonderful person. And then we also have with us Brian Santo, uh, uh, Byron Price, who has uh, been here for two years and he did the really pretty choreography that you'll see coming up. Are you here, Mr. Price? Hey. So uh, we welcome you, and I hope I haven't left anyone out, but I can't tell you how grateful I've been for this experience and all the wonderful people and these wonderful students that have come together for this wonderful show. So thank you very much. And one warning, there are people running through the aisles, so make sure that feet are pulled in and <laughs> you don't trip any of the children as <laughs> they go through. All right. But they are running rather madly. Yeah, I think we're safe. Okay, thank you very much for coming. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah, my eyes are hurting really good. really hurt. I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. I'll do it for a while. I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. Do not be fooled by its commonplace appearance. 
like so many things. It is not what is on the outside, what is on the inside that counts. This is an ordinary lamp. <coughs> One changed the course of a young man's life. A young man who liked this lamp was more than what he seemed. A diamond in the rough. Perhaps you would like to hear the tale? <laughs> <laughs> It all begins on a dark night where a dark man waits with a dark purpose.
that's all, that's a joke. These guys do appreciate our pro. We're friends, street friends, scoundrel, take that. Just a little snack, guys. Rip him, hold him, take it back, guys. I can take a hint, got to face the facts. You're my only friend, Abu. <laughs>
The law says you must be married to a prince by your next birthday. The law is wrong. You've only got three more days. Father, I hate to be forced into this. If I do marry, I want it to be for love. Jasmine, it's not only this law. I'm not going to be around forever. I just want to make sure you are taken care of. Why do you Try to understand. I've never done a thing on my own. I've never had any real friends. Except you, Raja. I've never been outside the palace walls. Oh, that's so funny. Well, then maybe I don't want to be a princess anymore. <laughs> I don't know where she gets her. Her mother wasn't nearly so picky. Oh, oh, Jafar, my most trusted advisor. I am definitely here with you. My life is but to serve you, my lord. It's this suitor business. Jasmine refuses to choose a husband. I'm at my wit's end. <laughs> oh, oh, that's really I'm very, very sorry. Thank you. She is my sister. She's a little crazy. She's 
Says she knew the sultan. She thinks the, the, the mon monkey is the sultan. Oh, why, sultan? How may I serve you? <laughs> <laughs> better than here. You're always scraping for food and ducking the guards. You're not free to make your own choices. Sometimes you feel so... You're just trapped. trapped. <laughs> uh, so, uh, where are you from? What does it matter? I ran away and I'm not going back. Really? Are you? My father's forcing me to get married. <laughs> That's awful. A boo <laughs> Abu uh, said that, uh, uh, that's not fair. What? <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, <coughs> of course. And does Abu have anything else to say? Well, he wishes there was something he could do to help. Oh, Tell him that's very sweet. <laughs> Here you are! <laughs> they found me! <laughs> that you? My father must have sent them. What? Do you trust me? Yes? Then come! Oh! <laughs> it's the dungeon for you, boy! Yeah! Sorry, princess. 
<laughs> hey, wait a minute, don't go. Uh, maybe you can help us. See, we're trying to find this lamp. Who knows where it is? like such a beat up, worthless piece of junk. Hey, I think there's something written here, but it, it's hard to make out. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah. 
You got the first possession. And I say, Mr. Alex, sir, what will your pleasure be? Let me take your order and jot it down. You ain't never had a friend like me. No, no, no. Life is your restaurant. And I'm your maker be. Come on, whisper what you need.
<laughs> Why not? The only way I can get out of this is if my master wishes me out. So if you can guess how often that has happened, oh, I'll do it. I'll set you free. Uh-huh, right. Whoop. No, really. <laughs> After I make my first two wishes, I use my third wish to set you free. Ooh. Well, it's over. All right, let's <laughs> make some magic. So, how about what is it that you want most? Well, there's this girl. And I can't make anyone fall in love, remember? Oh, Jeannie, she's smart and fun and pretty beautiful. She's got these eyes, this hair, and her smile. I'm me, Cess Lemon. <laughs> but she's the princess. To even have a chance, I'd have to be a... Hey, can you make me a prince? Um, <laughs> let's see here, chicken out king? Uh -huh. No, <laughs> Alaskan king crab. Ouch, <laughs> I hate it when they do that. Ah. Caesar salad. Ah. <laughs> you too, brute. Ah. To make a prince. Now, is that an official wish? Just say the magic word. Genie, I wish for you to make me a prince. All right. <laughs> First, make me scramble is much too third century. These catches, what are we trying to say? Bagger? No. Let's work with me here. Poof. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> 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 
No! No! Toro! Toro! Nah! Oops! No! Ah yes! Isa la lumbo, she me dumbo! Check this action out. Oh, you look good. He's got the outfit. He's got the outfit. But we're not through yet. Hang on to your turban, kid. We're gonna make you a star.
have journeyed from afar to seek your daughter's hand. Prince Ali of Papua, of course. I am delighted to meet you. Oh, this is my royal vizier, Shafar. He delights it too. <laughs> Ecstatic. I'm afraid, Prince of Uru. Uh, 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 what? <laughs> Whatever. You cannot just parade here uninvited and expected. By Allah, this is quite a remarkable device. I don't suppose I might. Why, certainly, Your Majesty. Allow me. Sire, I must advise against this. Oh, button up, Jafar. Learn to have a little fun. Whoa. Now, where did you say? You were fraud. Uh, um, um, much farther than you traveled, I'm sure. <laughs> Try me. Um. Not funny. <laughs> I'm losing to a run. <laughs> I need help. All right, Sparky, here's the deal. You want to court the little lady? You got to be a straight shooter. Do you follow me? What? Tell her the truth. No way. Jasmine finds out it's a crummy street rat. She's laughing. A woman appreciates a man who can make a laugh. <laughs> now, oh, joking aside, you really ought to be yourself. That's the last thing I want to do. All right, gotta go see her. I, I, I just gotta be smooth. Cool. Come. How do I? Like, like a prince. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> yeah. The daughter of a sultan. I know. A fine prize for any prince to marry. Right. A prince like me. Warning! Warning! <laughs> <laughs> Don't jump off the balcony. What? Stop her! Stop her! You want to stick her? Buzz off! Okay, fine. Remember, be yourself. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, you're right. Yeah, you aren't too surprised if you want. You should be free to make your own choice. I'll go. Wait! What? How? How do you do that? It's a magic card. <laughs> you uh don't want to go for a ride, do you? We can get out of the palace, see the world. Is it safe? Sure. Do you trust me? What? Do you trust me? Yes. I can show you. Shining, shimmering, splendid. Tell me, princess, now when did you last let your heart decide? I can open your eyes, take you wander by wander, over sideways and under on a magic carpet ride, a whole new world. A new fantastic point of view No one to tell us no Or where to go Or say we're only dreaming Mm-hmm. 
that is. Say, Jeannie, I want you to save my life. Clear. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Al. Say it. Uh, I I'll take that as a yes. You know what, Al? I'm getting kind of fond of you, kid. Not that I want to pick out curtains. Why that miserable 
Salt. Hail the conquering hero! La 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 You just want the heart of the princess. What are you going to do next? <coughs> Your line is, I'm going to free the genie. Anytime. <coughs> yeah. I can't. Sure you can. All you have to go is, genie, I wish you free. I'm serious. <laughs> I'm sorry. I really am. They want me to be salty. They want Prince Ali to be salty. Without you, I'm just a lad. But Al, you won! Because of you. The only reason I'm worth anything is because of you. What if they find out I'm not really a prince? What if Jasmine finds out? I lose it. I can't keep this up on my own. I can't say it. Hey, I understand. After all, you lied to everyone else anyway. Hey, I was beginning to feel left out. Now just, you will excuse me, mess, dude. <laughs> Gee, I, I'm really sorry. Oh, what's well, fine. Then, then just stay in there. I will. <laughs> what are you guys looking at? A blue carpet. I'm sorry. I gotta tell Jasmine the truth. Ali, oh Ali, will you come here? Here it goes. Jasmine, where are you? In the menagerie. Hurry. I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs>
something. What? You want to be a genie? You got it. It's everything that goes with no, it. No, no, no! Phenomenal, classic, powerful, and it in its face. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Santos for it. Yes, it's 
So are they, do they have refreshments or everyone no. just leaves? No, oh, no. Yeah, no, it's just a show. I'm kidding. But we have refreshments at Father and Son and Son. If you want to come, or you can yeah, know where it is. Oh. But how do I get out of here from the I, I just barely made it here. Oh, okay, I'll make you a lot, right? Yeah. Now, let's see if Kathy made it. I got a glass of some air. Is that okay? Yeah. Are these two coming with too? Yeah, they come with us. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Oh, wait a minute. What about programs, Chris? What about programs? I got it's fun. I never get out. <laughs> I know. I know. It was wonderful. Chris, can you video? You are very. Chris, can you video? 
Okay, I have thirty dollars. Over. You would have been good either as good as Jafar to follow the mushroom. So you'd have to get some air. So many wonderful, subtle things in your role. It was really neat. That's the key, you know? It was really wonderful. Who let you out of the lair? 
Okay. I would like you to sign my program. My oh. Oh. I just don't have it inside. You better make it good. <laughs> I did? I'll give you a pen. Oh, I was going to say I didn't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I am sorry. Well, well, then why don't you sit there and have, you know, might be more comfortable for you. Okay. Does someone need comfort over here? I think you need comforting with your nose. I need food. Jeez. I know. So as it is, I don't know. I don't have money anyway. Wait, wait everybody. Three. Daniel. Okay. All right, Danny, we want to toast you. Ready? Yeah. Yes. Don't think. Three. <laughs> <laughs> right? Don't think. Drink. Don't think. Drink. Well, it was wonderful performance, Daniel. Yeah, well, I have a more serious toast. This is to uh, my son who's made me very, very proud of him and his whole cast because they really, really worked hard at this. And you are nothing less than since... Nothing less than sensational tonight. So here's to Danny. Here's to Danny. Yay! Here's to Danny. Here, cheers. Not you. Fabulous, Danny. Fabulous, Harry. I love the fabulous. Mm. Spill. We need to have a servant right behind us with the ice water. Don't yeah, really. Mine's <laughs> almost done. Yeah. I'm like totally parched. A palace type thing. Of course, I haven't been eating either. Yeah, we had a bag of potato chips in the car, yeah. yeah. It's not quite the same. No, I was blown, simply blown away. That's why. The show. Uh-huh. It was great. How long was it, anyway? It was it's an hour and a half. Wow, it was fabulous. Oh, yeah. And then crazy. The me and Wiles. <laughs> fabulous. Anyone else get an idea? When did they start working on this? In February or something? Six yeah. weeks oh. ago. Oh, okay. Six Anyone weeks ago. Okay. You believe that? And the, and the dance master man. Everything six weeks ago. In your dreams. Isn't that amazing. How long I It's a, it, it's an intense production. Who you was know, the one who was in the the very first? He's only sang a song. Oh, that was Anthony Fett too. That was Aladdin. Who said I like him? Oh, that was Aladdin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he just said drink over. Doesn't he have a wonderful voice? When he did that. He looked like a man. I said hmm, they're letting men in. The <laughs> I didn't know. I, he looked like a man. Okay, the root beer yeah, float, like, kids. It's like mm. Congo. Oh, it's going out. Well, I think we can order now. It's like Congo. Like, well, it's like, we yeah. love lunch birds. Congo, you like, like you beat it. Please don't make me shut it's 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 Okay. I'm not in front of the camera anymore. I'm not in front of the camera. All right. Is that how you feel about it, Terry? Wait, Mom, no, you get feel this, the same. Get, <laughs> get this. I like uh, pre-production. Okay. Don't, Don't think. Drink. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, guys. <laughs> yeah. Well, the curse I'm glad you made it. Begins. We know. Uh, the thought of having anything done in the house just horrifies me. You just did though. Like, you should strap up. At least the progress. I did. Well, we don't get a choice. That's because the drama teacher. I'm lucky you got a new one. Yeah, the house is really paid off. Wow. Yeah, I know. But you know what? Okay, so much. I don't even want to tell you. Because Want it on? Gee, why don't we just wait and just just leave? That would be the house. I hope you get good insurance. Ice, ice, baby. Yeah. I keep calling it, but you call me back up. Call me back up. Call me back up. And I said I'm ready to do it. My name is. I I beat to the woods. What? My name is. My name is. My name is. Oh boy, I feel so relaxed. So do I. Blow over it. You killed. You I shot it five times. What did he do? Just ran out. Oh well. You should have seen it. You couldn't. You couldn't. You stepped on it and then charged up there. You shredded. Danny said he was kicking. Anyway, we're not. No, no, please, please. Mmm, those are the best kind.
Do you need ketchup, honey? No? Okay. That's okay. Salt? Okay. Ah, uh, Jafar is hiding the salt. Ah. Uh. So it's gonna be like it's just gonna be like just gonna be like Jafar the rest of your life now. I'll have to do next <laughs> Anyway, Alejandro. Until theater camp. Nice. I could never understand that show. I kept saying, who was the older player? I, 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 I don't He's know. Cool. Hey. Who was the mother? Well, I'm Debra. She was dead. I'm hey, Mr. Rebecca. I mean, <laughs> I don't want to eat holiday. I don't want to eat holiday. Hey, hey, hey. No, you just want to. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm never trying to find this. That amuses, it amuses you, I see. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Take it for Chris. I got such a kick out of uh, when Emma said, oh, what the hell? Oh my God, when she said that. Did you see Danny? He almost completely burst out laughing. When Emma, when Emma said, what, what the hell? All the, all you guys, I'm like, I can't believe you're going to be able to keep well, your composure graduate, here. She's going to graduate, right? So she she's a seventh that. grader. Oh, she is? Yeah. Oh. She, it came out of her. What was she going to say? Wait, what was she she's just supposed to say, what the, what the, what the. Oh, that's it. No, she's out of the hell. <laughs> but everybody, you should see a lamb. Out of the hell. And the cheat, everybody, they were out. I was like, what the fuck? And then she slipped today. Right away. <laughs> she was great. She was great. She was great. You guys were great. And you know what? It's you guys. Why didn't you guys, the way you came out uh, this after uh, this evening, why didn't you do that? That's wonderful. Why didn't you do that before with all the other performances? You know, I didn't realize how many kids were in it until because I saw how many were coming out. I know. Yeah. It was really great. But the dancers and everybody came out. Yeah. Well, you know, oh, uh, Emma said to say goodnight to you too, Danny. I was telling her like what a great performance she did, and she said she just kept saying she goes, she said, but Danny was outstanding tonight. She said, yeah. She's a sweet girl. She just and I said, I said you're so talented. She goes, oh no no no. She goes. She says it's Danny. It's Danny because she said she she played off you this entire time. Like you guys are playing off. And I said, yeah, you're a great soulmates. So yeah. I just thought because yeah. you know Jafar and Iago are just one and the same. You know, just one. It's cool. And I talked to Billy. And uh, oh, Billy the monkey. He's so cute. He's like he's, Is, he's, he's, he's a third. He's a third grader. And I come up to Billy, I said, Billy, I said, you know, I said, all I can say is you're so adorable up there. And he looks down and I just, and I said, don't you think you were? And he went, no. <laughs> I said, you don't know how great your performance was? I said, it was really a great, great performance. And he went, no. And he's like, I said, oh, you're humble too. Jeez, you know, uh, like this. But he's like so little. Most of the kids are humble. Yeah, yeah he's so humble. little. It was like he was playing up there. You know, it was just, yeah, like, it was so you look, cute. You look so disciplined. You need Dania. some butter for that bread there? Boy. There's Danny at a fine restaurant. <laughs> Wait, say that again. What happened? His brace is exploding. Oh my god. <laughs> You know, oh I can't God. get over that gray hair. I just, <laughs> I just keep looking at him. Uh, and then the, um, one of the teachers, or was it the assistant principal, I was talking to her, and she said to me, she said, oh, when you see him with the gray hair, she says he looks just like Cary Grant. I said, Cary Grant? First of all, I didn't know he was going to have gray hair. So the first time I saw it, I said, oh my God. What's this? I'm looking at you. I don't really care about it, but... <laughs> Swell? Yeah. Don't, Peter! Don't smell! The parrot said, how the... <laughs> what? What? How did you do that? The parrot said, hell! Oh! 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 God, that the parrot said that! I can't believe it! The parrot said... Was her... Were her parents there? No? Is your mom, is your mom, um... I would love to have met her mother. Just like this. <laughs> There's only five minutes left for this. <laughs> Wait, it's not in focus. Wait, it's not in focus. <laughs> I knew I didn't. I knew I didn't have a last one. So then the second...
second time. It's pathetic the second time. Wait. Yeah, you need more. Wait, wait. Oh God! 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 Oh